Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Caleb Dennison. On the big show today, LG breaks down price barriers on OLED TVs, how not to use the tech in your car, and IBM's latest breakthrough may get us closer to HAL. OLED TVs have been on every video file's wish list since, well, since they were introduced, but the problem has always been making them affordable, something they definitely have not been so far. It looks like that's about to change though with yesterday's announcement from LG that you can now pre-order their new 55-inch curved OLED HD TV for the reasonable sum of $3,500. So what's so great about OLED TVs? Well, in two words, picture quality. Blacks are truly black, colors are amazing, there's no motion blurring at all, and because there's no backlight, the TVs are amazingly thin, like pencil thin. We checked out an LG OLED TV last year at their US lab and the picture quality was remarkable. But that TV was also really spendy, as in $8,000. This new LG OLED will pack all of that TV's features plus its new WebOS software, but at less than half the cost. So when does it arrive? Well, in about two weeks and you can pre-order one at Best Buy right now. We showed you a publicity stunt by Hyundai a while ago where drivers bailed out of their cars as they circled a test track while smart cruise control and some other autonomous tech kept the cars in motion and even stopped them safely. But that was on a test track and the cars were modified. Quite unlike this guy who activated the smart cruise control on his Infiniti and then climbed in the back seat as the car blew down a public highway with only this rather new technology at the wheel. Lane keeping assist kept it going straight, but we gotta say, this is not what the tech was designed for. Had the car somehow left its lane, which is entirely possible, a serious crash would have taken place, likely killing this idiot and perhaps some other innocent drivers. So just a reminder, the tech is there to help you drive safely, not drive the car for you. That you'll have to wait a few more years for. For all the wonders that computers can do, they're all pretty much the same. Just silicon-based chips running human-written software. Despite all their miraculous abilities, they don't work like the human brain. Until now. Researchers at IBM just released details about their Synapse chip, which mimics both the architecture and operational systems of our gray matter. Naturally, government tech arm DARPA was in on the program, and researchers say the breakthrough could change computers at a fundamental level. It's also very efficient power-wise, just like your noggin. So what can it do? Well, it's a long list. So hit the link below for our very informative article, which includes some cool videos about what could be a major step towards artificial intelligence. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.